Indiana, Joel Coliseum, Big Ten ACC Challenge presented by Cisco Systems, Wisconsin and Wake Forest. Here's our eBay star watch, Jimmy. Alondo Tucker, terrific one-on-one -on -one player, can get your best player in foul trouble. And Trent Strickland for Wake, he's the best defender Wake has. That's a real key early. Jason Chappell and Kyle Visser jump. Our starting lineups. We'll check in a moment. And turnover on the baseline. Here's our starting lineups. Nixon and Taylor in the backcourt. Chapel, a familiar name around here. Tucker and Butch up front. Hale and Gray. The backcourt for Wake Forest. Strickland, Williams, and Visser, who won the jump. Immediately with the quick foul, Michael Flowers, a sophomore out of Madison, comes in for him. Here's Trent Strickland. Well, Jimmy talked about one of the most improved guys not only in the conference, maybe in the country. Top of the circle thought about a three. Nice pass inside. Williams tough. Got it. Chapel with the foul. Williams a chance at three-point play. Look how wide Williams spreads out. I mean, he's 6'9 and 267. I like how he calls for the ball with both hands shown. He's telling the old guy legs, but he reads angles awfully well. I mean, he's a crafty scorer with that basketball. Three in route. Rebound comes off to Strickland. And Wake pushes it. Now Justin Gray shows his point guard tendencies. He's not always going to be over on that two spot. Remember, he came here as a point guard before Chris Paul's arrival. He backed up to Ron Downing, then Chris Paul came in. Justin became the two guard and all ACC performer. So he says, you know, if you, if you think I can't run it at the point, remember why, how I came here and why I came here. Strickland knocks it down outside. Boy, tough shot. How about this guy? Has gone from a four or five point score to lead the club with 18 a ball game. Has taken this uh, Wake Forest club to a whole other level early. Wisconsin in a little bit of early trouble as we approach the first time out segment of the ball game. Outside jumper won't go. Trying to tip it back in. Visser takes it off. The Butch miss. Well, here comes Gray. Wake getting all over those boards, and you better because Wisconsin plus 13 a game on the glass. Wake's four out of seven from the floor. Now four of eight. Visser trying to clean up. Good job by Wisconsin. Williams tried to knock it back off the glass. And the Badgers have a chance to cut into the lead. That is Wake Forest by seven. Nice pass down low. And in and out. Looked like it was going to be a chance for a three-point play, and it's not. The foul is going to be on Visser. Wake off to a tough start. An exceptional start. Strickland from the outside, and they lead 10-3. And their team to four straight NCAAs. Last year, Wake was 27-6. They were perfect at home. We mentioned earlier, it's a 20-game winning streak coming into this. They haven't lost since March of 04 in this building at Joel Coliseum. And they've won 50 of their last 51 against non-conference opponents. So you come in here, you got the sixth man down there, the crazies with the, uh, the gold and black shirts, and you can be in a hornet's nest. Wisconsin's been perfect in their defensive transition till this point. Red jerseys don't retreat with a purpose. They don't run with passion with their head on a swivel. And as a result, Gray has that ball in the middle of the floor and Strickland, the athletes, on that weak side wing. Red Steam, uh, Steamsma picks up his first foul, and Strickland will go to the free throw line. Strickland, one of the better free throw shooters on Wake Forest team. As a team, they're only shooting 64%, so sometimes they do tend to struggle there. And Chapel comes back in, as does Kravenhoff. Brent Strickland, a senior out of East Flat Rock, North Carolina. Already he's got three double-doubles this season. Now with Orlando Tucker going to the bench for Wisconsin, Strickland goes from having to guard the toughest guy on the floor to getting a little bit of a break on the defensive end. His offense could really kick in here the next two or three minutes. Williams is going to get a breather, and the freshman that everybody's talked about, Kevin Swinton, checks in for Wake Forest. Strickland misses a second of two. Wake by one. Wisconsin with Brian Butch coming to life, seven points. He has seven, and Taylor has eight to lead the way. Wisconsin has never led. Wake is led by as many as seven. 
Visser trying to drop it down low. Tough catch by Williams. Eric in traffic. Oh, a follow by Strickland. Whoa. You don't get a body on that guy. That brings the crowd to life. Just a free run at the rim for Strickland. Wow. Chapel trying to follow with the left hand, and Visser clears off the miss. Numbers for Wake Forest with a couple of defenders down. Justin Gray knows it. Missed the three. Jimmy was talking about Tucker. He has not scored from the floor. His only points from the free throw line is 0 for 5 from the field. Williams. Look at that muscle. Didn't get the shot to go, though, and it's all Wisconsin for the rebound. Kravinov comes off of the board. Pretty good defensive wall by Wisconsin's bigs. They didn't leave their feet and just extended high. I'm not sure about that three, but Kravinov in the right place at the right time. And then he walked with it. Tough work under the board, hoping to get a second chance. But they turn it over. Strickland's follow as Wake Forest in front by five.